Hi guys, here is the first of the two genetics problems you've asked me to answer. If you need to, you can stop and read the question again. The trick to this really is to see that R and R' prime are two different alleles for flower colour. They're codominant. Then if we look at the two individuals that are reproducing, you quickly see that this is heterozygous for R, or flower colour, and homozygous for height or dwarfism. Therefore, this produces two alleles, which can be shown like this. And if we look at the second individual, it's homozygous for flower colour and heterozygous for height, meaning this two can produce two alleles, which look like this. So if we put all of this together, we quickly see we have four different possible outcomes of offspring, which we can fill in. Looking at this, we quickly see that 50% of our outcome are tall. They have a large D. So yes, we have this. 50% are dwarf. They have two recessive small D genes. 50% are pink. Now because R is codominant, R, R prime is pink flowers. So we have pink flowers here and here. So we've got 50% pink. And finally, we can see that 50% are white. Because it tells us the allele for white flowers is R prime. These two are white. Therefore, all four conditions are satisfied here. The correct answer is C. Here is the second problem that my HL class asked me to answer. This question tells us we have a polygenic character, two genes, each with two alleles. Then how many possible genotypes are there? We can simply do this by trial and error. Let's invent gene with large A or small A, and let's invent a gene large B or small B. We've got two genes, each with two alleles. If we look at our A's, we could possibly have, because the question asks about genotypes, big A, big A, big A, small A, or small A, small A. So we have three combinations of A's. Now, we can put these three combinations with large B. So there's our first three genotypes. We could, so we've got three. We could then put these three a combinations with large B, small b, giving us four, five, and six genotypes. And finally, we could put these three A with two small b's, giving us seven, eight, nine. Meaning, overall, we have nine genotypes. With these nine genotypes, now shown here, this suggests our correct answer has to be C.